All right, y'all, so come with me. I'm about to go to Ulta to do a little bit of fragrance shopping. I'm kind of feeling like paying full retail. We'll see. We also just picked up a package. We'll see what that is when we get back home. So we are getting ready to go into Ulta to sample some fragrances. Take y'all with me. Absolutely hate coming to this part of the city because it's always fucking crowded, but here we are. <sighs> we just gonna walk. I happy ass around the corner because there was no parking. And I'm annoyed. That's how it always is in this part of the city. And quite frankly, I hate coming to this neighborhood, but here I am. I'm thinking about going up to this Marshalls and getting this grill pan. I said I would do it next time I came over here, and I might. Let's go in here. Sniff these fragrances. But this should be pretty quick. It's only a few that I want to smell. The Valentino Green Stravaganza. And if they got the Givenchy Gentleman Society, I want to smell that before I full bottle it. Oh, I can't get away from this motherfucker quick enough. I guess. All in the name of content, yeah? <laughs> See, I'm going to be so pissed off if I was still gymming over here. I wouldn't even get up there. I should have did order pickup, but see, I didn't know what if I was gonna order anything, buy anything. Looks like they did at one point. Wow. Okay, so everything is locked up. This shit is ghetto and I don't like that. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, so clearly This is gonna be a little more challenging than I expected. Yeah, I just want to smell two things. Three, green coach, which I don't see. So I actually ended up getting the Valentino Born in Roma Green Stravaganza. I made $135 for it. It only had 3.4 ounce. It actually smells really, really good. It's really fresh. Um, kind of has that coffee note, kind of reminds me of just a little bit of Halloween Man, but it has a freshness that the Halloween Man didn't have. Halloween Man was just sweet. Um, this one is fresh. Bergamot opener. And then there is the coffee gourmand background it's not just sweet it's definitely one of those fragrances that's multiple dimensions and i actually enjoy valentino fragrances so that's the only reason why we went ahead and plopped down full retail with this in addition to it being newer fragrance i've been doing a lot of other fragrances my niche collection is getting out of control i fell down the rabbit hole with rosia we're not going to even talk about that because two more arrived today and a niche next. so whatever we're just going to roll what we got i actually smelled the Givenchy society don't like it it's too irisy for my taste and it didn't have any other dimensions going on i like Givenchy, but i don't need that for it and one thing i definitely don't like about the ulta that i went to everything's behind glass and locked up you just cannot get that feel for what it's like to sample a fragrance so i think i'm good going to places like ulta 
to smell fragrances because that just worked my nerves like entirely too long. And my thing is this, baby, if I'm a steal, it's not going to be. It's not going to be from that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. If I'm a fucking steal, it's definitely not going to be from a retail store. Anyway, that's it for me. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. I'm back in my vehicle safe for sound. I went by the discount rack stores, Marshalls to be exact, and actually found a grill pan, something that I did want for a long time. Got that, but that's pretty much it. Full bottled this at retail, which I usually don't do, but we did it. Let's just get back to them. Yeah, this smells really good. I can rock with that. The society, I just, it's not doing anything for me. It smells like booze and woods. I'm good on that. But this is sexy real sexy so i'm happy with my purchase have you all smelled valentino born aroma let's get the fuck up out of here <laughs>